Hey guys, maybe we wait a little bit for them to appear. All right. We hope you can hear us fine and see us fine. I think, let me just make a small test to see if they can comment. Because the last time they wanted to comment and they couldn't. Right, if there was uh, an issue. <laughs> you see, it takes some time to appear on the other side. I don't know what to put. So please let us know if you can comment if everything is available for you because uh, we would be happy for you to ask your questions on um, uh, this topic that we uh, would like to discuss with you today the beast within twin flames uh, yeah i think it will work i okay, think yes it should be fine So we have some notes here so we don't get lost. <laughs> and um, this has been something that we have been uh, going through uh, quite intensively the last couple of years, maybe. Yeah, it's very, uh, it started at the very beginning, but uh, we just refined the knowing about it. Mm -hmm. It uh, really intensified and um, we like to call it the beast <laughs> within ourselves uh, because that's a very powerful energy and it really has to do with uh, disturbing the connection between twin flames um, and uh, we truly believe that uh, it is uh, pretty much the answer for the majority, especially the ones uh, who are not together, what is uh, preventing them from being together. Um, I know it hurts a lot. Um, it's not easy indeed. Uh, we went through a small period. <laughs> uh, quite a few periods, yeah. About, yes. uh... um, but uh, uh, first of all, uh, let's speak about the beast, what exactly we mean by calling the beast. Uh, pretty much that's anything within us that uh, we don't accept. Um, and mostly these are things that we don't accept about ourselves. And because we don't accept them in ourselves, uh, by seeing them, ah. my dear. <laughs> so it is possible <laughs> nice to, to comment. See you. <laughs> yes, this time finally. Um, so, uh, this is pretty much like the mirror effect, uh, if you have ever heard about it. About it. Um, pretty much uh, anything uh, uh, that we see in others, uh, we have to have it in ourselves uh, to be able to recognize it. Pretty much the beast uh, exists in each and every one that is walking here on earth it's just dormant in most people mm -hmm. like 99 percent of the people is dormant uh, i mean it's awake it's there it is alive but it's just dormant like the person doesn't acknowledge it or it acts on in a like a subconscious level the person does not want to have a relationship with this beast now that's where the, the the video comes from. It's we are going to speak about this beast and how to what it does to us, the bad things, the good things. <laughs> <laughs> there's in each thing there's a good and bad thing, right? Um, so as I said, the, uh, the mirror effect. We have to have something within ourselves to be able to see, to recognize it in the others, in the people opposite us. And um, within Twin Flames, this is even much more intense uh, as two parts of the whole thing. Uh, we really can see very well in our Twin Flame, uh, their beast, and they can see very well our beast. <laughs> so your Twin Flame is the best person to trust in uh, seeing your little or big beast depends uh, on your relationship uh, with the beast uh, because uh, there are quite a few options you know um, for example there's something very interesting the family i have a sensation that can is not able petty's family and my family are not able to see this beast it's just hidden 
They just cannot see it. That's true. Yes. It's there. It's not possible. But you mean my family is not able to see my bees? Yes. And your family is not but able. But they see are it. able to see what we are trying to do here. For example, if I because as I connect more and more with Patty and Patty with me, our bees are going to come out. I don't know why this works, but that's just how it is. I guess we provoke it or something. Mm -hmm. And the bees, by the way, is your highest potential and your lowest potential. It's both of them at the same time. Because yep. uh, everything has a personality and everything has ego. Okay, uh, So, no, the bees is trying to come out because of our union and your union. Okay, And because of this, they know what we are up to. And so the family, the friends and everyone around that doesn't like how... Uh, we really are deep within, then they try their tricks or whatever they can to to slow down the process, to counteract and mm -hmm. things like this. Exactly. So this is one of the biggest reasons actually why uh, there's disturbances between twin flames like this. Um, I uh, just, when you said uh, ego, actually the, the beast is uh, how your ego expresses itself, you know? The beast is pretty much the language uh, your ego speaks with uh, your soul uh, and uh, uh, it's entirely up to you uh, to um Hi, Hi, Nara. Nara. <laughs> hey <laughs> so nice to see you very nice <laughs> here it comes first the call um so uh it really is up to you uh on how your relationship uh, will be with your beast um <laughs> your beast is a very real thing. It's a very real entity. It's almost like speaking to another person. Uh, it is so uh, vivid at times, especially. Mm -hmm. We have experienced it ourselves. Uh, and why exactly the beast comes out um, uh, so strongly when twin flames get together? Uh, it's a very interesting thing. Imagine uh we are a plus and a minus uh and when we get together it's not just like two uh, it's like a spark exactly that's what i wanted to say exactly yeah it's like a huge lightning appears it's not just a cloud of love around us right <laughs> uh because these two uh opposites get together they strike and what happens it appears a huge lightning and sometimes what do light, lightnings do? Uh, they bring the rain, yes, but sometimes they also kill trees and other things. If we do not uh, redirect these lightnings properly, it will cause damage because we are the weather. Okay, We are the ones ca causing the whole thing. And in order to have lightnings, you need the earth and you need the sky. So you need the positive and the minus, just like she said. And uh, it's up to us to use this energy properly. The more we store and hide this beast, the stronger the spark. That's because if we don't allow the rain to come, you know, the thunderstorms to do its thing, on a, a one year with, with a lots of draft, lo lots of drought, it will uh, provoke a big thunderstorm and it will be a big explosion because we have been uh, like su uh, suppressing this thunderstorm for so long that when it comes it will just be hell <laughs> so i'm speaking i'm just giving an idea but it's actually between uh, uh, two mm. people yeah to be honest the more you have been suppressing this beast within you the more difficult will be your connection with your twin flame once you meet um because you just cannot accept it and uh, we have, when we say you, we don't really refer, refer just to you. We, uh, hi, I'm Jellix on Flame 1111. <laughs> <laughs> Such a cute name. Yes. Um, I think we know her. Yes, we do. Uh, so that's why I was saying uh, that uh, it really is up to you uh, how, what is going to be your relationship uh, with your beast. Uh, because the more you have not been accepting the beast within yourself, the more you are not able to see it, 
uh, its qualities because, uh, like we said at the beginning, uh, it has also positive sides, not just negative. Mm-hmm. This is huge energy. This is our highest potential. This is what it is. That's our drive to knowledge. That's our uh, intelligence. Uh, that's uh, how big we uh, have the opportunity to grow and to evolve. And um, uh, because of this, uh, it really is up to us uh, whether we accept this beast within us. Yeah. And uh, we are not really able very much to expose this uh, beast when we are growing up and we don't know our twin flame yet. Um, But we can... You know, just get to know ourselves. We just uh, we can like meditate about it. And um, I said I thought anger was a secret sauce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all the emotions. You are very correct. All the emotions. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Leo. All the emotions are uh, part of the beast. Now we are not able to take it out properly until we meet our twin flame. When we are born. The duty of our family, unfortunately, most of our families, like, like I say our family, I mean all over the world. I know what you're going to say. Yes. I just read you. I, I hope you read me correct. I think so. <laughs> so the duty of our families is to... I hope I'm going to say the right thing because I don't want to <laughs> ruin your expectation. Okay. The duty of our family, unfortunately, is to suppress uh, the beast so that... Okay, you know what i so that it doesn't come out and uh, so what can we do by ourselves imagine one battery alone without another battery we can only acknowledge how much energy we have that's it we cannot really do much with it i mean we can charge a few devices do something with people but not at a bigger scale Mm -hmm. at a larger scale uh, compared to me and Patty together or you and your partner together this is much more powerful but if you don't train your beast, if you don't know what beast you have within you, it's useless uh, even to even think about, ah, I want to, I want to, or the desire even to meet your partner, or if you already have a partner, uh, to do something together without stress. It's almost impossible because the beast is going to eat you up. You know? Exactly. It's, uh... um, so what Andrew said about... Uh... Uh, your family and the people around you that you grow up with, they really uh, are chosen to train your beast. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it's not to hate them, of course. They That has its purpose. And the purpose of this is so that the beast doesn't come out and explode. Because uh, we have seen many, many... Um... <laughs> Yes. <laughs> it's torture, but uh, you know. I know each family is like this. Uh, families are an amazing thing, guys. Uh, we can make a, a another I mean, we are not... video a life. I think about the families will be amazing. We'll have to speak we about the family separately, indeed. Yeah. Uh, to all your questions regarding this, uh, because we we are still handling a difficult situation there. But uh, we have to be aware, families are a blessing. Try to see the positive side of why you chose the family you chose. Uh, There must be a very big reason and it is most definitely connected with your beast. Because this beast, like we said, is your highest potential. The highest point where you can grow. But because it's a beast, we can go very wrong with it. It can also bring the lowest potential. And uh, yeah, it, the the thing is that everyone is suppressing this beast all over the world. The monks are doing that. The new age is doing that. Everyone says suppress your mm-hmm. ego. Don't even touch it. Like it's not like this. We need they are to. They're literally speaking. Put the beast down to sleep. Yeah, and the problem with this, you know, what is the problem? I mean, it's nice to put it down so that you can present yourself very nice to the world and stuff like this. Blah blah blah. But the thing is that it's like a pressure cook. Pressure cooker. Right? Mm-hmm. You start your uh, meal, you put in the pressure cooker, <laughs> you close it tight, and then uh, it heats up, heats up, and after a while it will explode because you didn't go there and open up a little bit, let some steam to come out from time to time, you know. This is how it is. Uh, the way to withstand the beast is to, 
to be simmering, just to simmer the food and that's it. You mm -hmm. should not leave it under pressure because uh, it will be very bad. And uh, just like uh, uh, Angelic Sunflame 1111 already said, the anger, uh, we can actually associate the bees with uh, many different states. And one of them in, in, indeed is the anger, uh, any type of aggression, uh, but it can be also uh, anxiety, depression, uh, narcissism, because I know there's a lot of people talking about narcissism lately, it has become something like of the new age stuff. Uh, well, the fact is that if you see someone is a narcissist, perhaps there's a narcissist living within you. Mm -hmm. well. Yes, we are attracted uh, to the there. same thing. Exactly. We are not able, we have to really understand this. Um, we are not able to see a certain characteristic of someone if we don't have it within us, because how would you know, yeah. right? Uh, if you haven't tasted sugar, how would you know something is sweet mm -hmm. by itself? You will never recognize it as sweet. We probably, uh, as, as a whole, we wouldn't appreciate that much our uh, partner simply because the lack of, uh, like, uh, you know, the obstacles and fears and stuff they put on us, we wouldn't appreciate. So. My foot is so numb, I have to take a small walk. <laughs> <laughs> Your foot is numb? Yes, I'm very sorry. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, about the anger, though. The anger is uh, a natural emotion. It's actually good to experience anger, but not like a total destruction. I learned this the hard way. Uh, and uh, there, there is actually a book about um, natural emotions and unnatural emotions. Basically, if you suppress the natural emotion, like sh uh, being, let's say, shy or envy or uh, anger, it will become even worse. For instance, I'm just going to give you one example. Anger, if you suppress anger, it will become rage at later age. And this all happens when you are a child. When you are a child, um, you want to experience anger, okay? Because, uh, uh, let's say, you uh, are not able yet to ride a bicycle and your brother can or your sister can and uh, because they are older than you. So you experience anger because they, your parents are more proud of them than, than you or whatever. Whatever reason, maybe you dropped something and it broke, you felt anger, okay? When you experience this, it means that you have to experience it because you are learning still. But your parents, most of the time, they tell you not to do that or that's not how you behave or whatever reason. And afterwards, you start to feel the suppression. You suppress it, you suppress it, and later years it becomes rage. Rage is much more difficult to control. It's all over the place. It's not natural whatsoever. How's your foot? I'm so and so. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Yeah, it must be some kind of vein got trapped. So, yeah. Well, I... It's normal that we don't, like, we don't have the same affinity with our families uh, that we have with our partners. Uh, but uh, they helped you to, let's say, to learn how the obstacles uh, are able to be passed for you. So they placed you some obstacles and you know how to pass them. You are here right now, then it means that you pass these obstacles and now you're ready to move on. So, I mean, I would love to say so much, you know, about family and what is wrong, what is good. But I guess this is still very limited because mm -hmm. we are just given very little choices, you know. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> What? Angelic Sunflame 11 11. Peter, maybe you're feeling my numb left foot. I, it is exactly the left one. And you felt hurt. Yes, oh. very much. I haven't felt this uh, state for a very long time. Usually, when we do uh, Chios, <laughs> Chios Energy Healing, we feel the people, you know, the, the pain mm -hmm. and stuff. And uh, I guess because we are doing so much of this, manifesting through even through the even, live stream. Even through the live stream. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. No, but maybe it means something. I mean, 
not just the numbness, but maybe it means mm-hmm, something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, what else she did you put also here? says, in this very moment, I want to let them go and be done with them. <laughs> um, well, it is, uh, I know it's a hard thing, but family is here to deal with them. Mm-hmm. Very often, um, the families that we have chosen, especially <coughs> Twin Flames, we have very karmic relationship with them. Yeah, uh, individual, usually. I mean, sometimes together. Well, yes, sometimes <laughs> yeah, together, sometimes very, together. Uh, very much. Because <laughs> uh, we do have a, a, a big karmic relationship yeah. uh, with our families, both of us together. Mm-hmm. And uh, we have seen this in previous lifetimes. and. We know very well what is the situation and stuff like this. Um, but it is really good to sit down and try to see the positive side of all this. Um, my brother and my mother right now. Mm-hmm. I know. It's uh, not easy indeed. Uh, but uh, uh, there's always a positive side. And like we said, we can make a, a separate... Uh, maybe another life and you can ask all your questions uh, about this and mm-hmm. how we have been dealing in our yeah. situations um, but no, for maybe. sure there is a, a, a positive side and uh, try to search for it and to find it <laughs> <Think> <laughs> um, so the beast the our our highest potential uh, to create and destroy uh, what is the goal to reach with it? The goal is actually to become friends with the beast. I'm really grateful to Andre that he showed me... Ah, you're going to speak about this too. Oh, yes, I'm going to say. <laughs> we are always like this, like catching shows. Yes, uh, there were some movies and things that uh, uh, they actually have a very spiritual tint. And uh, I didn't watch them uh, all these years. And uh, connecting with Andre, uh, we finally did find the time and we watched them together. And now I see why. Because there's a very spiritual deep meaning in um, all of them that we have been finding. Uh, And if I watched them earlier, I wouldn't catch any of this. None. And uh, especially regarding the bees, I also didn't catch anything. Only when I met when you, we watched and we together. watched together. But you were constantly speaking about it, and then uh, we really watched it together. And bang! We because came so you downloads. were you were on this era in which you just wanted to learn something. I mean, not to learn, but uh, to add something to what you you already knew about what is happening, the matrix and everything. Mm -hmm. And this really came just like a sherry on the cake to really understand deeply. Mm -hmm. (laughs) What movie? (laughs) It's not a a movie, right? I mean... uh, Well, we can speak about many movies, but specifically about The Beast, uh, it's very well spoken in uh, Naruto Shippunden. Uh, It's an animation, actually. Yes. Uh, And uh, that's exactly what it is. Naruto is holding The Beast within and the beast is locked and just 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 something uh, because many people think like you know the animations are uh, you know and the name from japan mm-hmm. might not be great or something but this one i think is really the best from all from all of them there's two parts one is the classic and the other is the shippuden which is when the main character is already grown up and i don't know why but uh, when i was watching this thing it just uh, reflected everything that we Right now, no, okay, but mm-hmm. in the past, I was just curious that some of the things I'm seeing, I'm familiar with, but I don't know what it means. But when I brought Patty to watch it as well, uh, we were blown away by how much the person that created this animation, uh, Naruto Shippuden, he, where did he got this information from? Because he's speaking about uh, Twin Flames, he's speaking about the Matrix of the World, and not only the matrix of the world, like the creator and the manipulator and uh, the, uh, the architect and so on. There's a lot of information there. Um, it's, it, was, it is great like, yeah. for you to understand and for me too. I think you made one video maybe for the members about 
uh, movies and things that... No, I think I made for, uh, everyone. for everyone. I made for everyone, yes. Uh, um, we have such a... Uh, but I didn't speak about uh, this animation there. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should, yeah. Because it's very, very Maybe cool. we can make another one together again. Because there's many others that really impress us. And we find uh, lots of spiritual messages there. Uh, because many times uh, you know very well how it is. The Matrix, uh, the all-seeing eye, uh, comes to tell us uh, we know everything and we give you the knowledge. Uh, but we are just watching a theater here. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah. And... Uh, yes, we are given the knowledge, but at the same time, we almost cannot use it. Uh, unfortunately, it's a very blurred happens. knowledge. It's a blurred knowledge without direct guidance, nothing. It's just mm -hmm. uh, for us to figure out by ourselves. And we are actually being mocked when we are uh, having this knowledge. Yeah. Yes, yes, exactly. Uh, so, if you have any questions uh, about this or you want to share something, you're welcome to share it now um, or later on, of course, but it will be very cool if um, uh, we can share with our little family here. <laughs> <laughs> There's a, another thing uh, from the animation which is very cool is that uh, there's a symbol there, the symbol of fire or the wheel of fire. <laughs> and this symbol actually, if you put upside down, actually means a, a, a very powerful symbol in Bulgaria, apparently. Yes. And, you know, things like this, like how do they know? How does uh, Japan knows about uh, Bulgaria and stuff? And apparently, I guess there was like an agreement between the two countries of something. I don't know. Like yeah. And things <laughs> like this. Now, I'm just giving you like a small hint that... Uh, Whatever, uh, you know, if you go to check, you will see things for yourself. <laughs> Angelic and Gio are now chatting on the, on the common chat. <laughs> 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 so she says, I think I scared the shit out of a Vedic astrologer with my chart. And you, haha, Angelic, send it uh, over <laughs> in your chart. <laughs> yes. Um... Uh, so, we are really here to uh, work on our beast, to <coughs> understand it better. Ah, that's the most important part as well in the animation, speaks about the beast. Mm -hmm. That's why as well. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, becoming friends with the beast is not an easy thing and it's not like... It takes a long time. <sighs> exactly. I recently actually started uh, figuring... Um, mm. Uh, out about my own beast because uh, apparently as a projector it's more difficult for me to see myself uh, you more easily somehow and identified yours uh, we've been seeing it for quite a while but my beast has been we don't speak about my beast uh, and it I don't know what shape it is actually I mean maybe you you it doesn't matter. you already energetically. showed energetically yeah. yes uh, I've been trying to uh, feel it and I have been feeling it. Maybe only a reflector can show you the beast, I don't know. Uh, perhaps, yes, I, mm -hmm. I did tap into a connection with a, a reflector uh, type of person and uh, uh, that's how I started to see my beast indeed. Mm -hmm. Yes, there's people who they act like mirrors, you know, and we can talk about this another time, but uh, it is a good way to understand uh, who we are and stuff. I mean, I know mm -hmm. now because of Patty, but Patty doesn't know. So. Angelic says, I was forced to live with my mom and brother the last two weeks. And it has been so toxic that I am now choosing uh, homelessness because it was dangerous. Uh, well, if it is uh, dangerous, if it is... Uh, uh, indeed uh, um, endangering you physically, psychologically, uh, most definitely you have to take action. Uh, we also had such a situation uh, from the very beginning, the two of us, and we took action immediately. This is when we actually uh, moved to live uh, together mm -hmm. by ourselves uh, because we didn't feel, uh, we literally didn't feel safe anymore. 
um, it was indeed. horrible yeah yes. you you are right angelic it's uh, indeed uh, yes you really have to take this uh, uh, step forward because it's a two-way process you <laughs> maybe you will uh, figure out uh, your connection with your family why it is why you chose them and how they have helped you and what they awakened within you and stuff like this but uh, they have to also uh, wake up uh, to all this awareness mm. They are just going to understand some things, but not everything. Not everything. Uh, the only thing they can understand the family is respect. If they can at least respect, mm -hmm. uh, forget about their background, if they are still against you or whatever, of course they will be, but <laughs> at least to, respe to respect uh, consciously and then the rest, you know, you don't go deep. Just don't go deep and that's the best you can do. Uh, you said, uh, is the movie called The Boy and the Beast? I, I didn't... I think uh, we might have not seen the movie, but uh, this is not it, what we are talking about. It's something else. But I think we didn't watch this movie. We didn't watch, but maybe we could watch this Is one. it good? <laughs> <laughs> he also says, uh, is the best heal with the truth from within? Uh, technically, yes, uh, but... Uh, Did he also... say best or b beast? Maybe. No, best. Yeah. Um, no, yeah. It's like the best remedy. Is it the truth? Yeah. The best remedy. Uh, well, uh, technically, yes, but uh, it really depends uh, how. Uh, oh, oh, you see? Beast. I, uh, I, I read him. <laughs> we are both believers. Is the beast heal then uh, with truth from within? Mm. The truth, it depends. Depends who you share it with. Uh, because even if you share your own truth, even with your uh, family and uh, close ones and loved ones, um, be prepared uh, not to be understood. Um, because I think, most yeah. probably that's what will happen. Once the beast comes out, because most of the times the family hasn't seen your beast, they don't even know about its existence, they uh, are absolutely unaware uh, because why it happens. Because they have been raising uh, you up to their standards, up to their understandings. Standards without up to beast. the uh, standards of the matrix, up to uh, what society has been requiring us to be, to look, to, um, uh, to do, <laughs> how to live, how to work, <laughs> almost how to breathe. Mm -hmm. um, and just because of this, um, they will most probably not understand your beast. Many parents think they're best friends with their children, um, but uh, um, still, most of the times, they are very far, very far from uh, the knowledge of who their children truly are. Um, I have uh, come up with uh, many things about the child within and how to heal it and stuff like this. I spoke about this on my Bulgarian channel a lot. I may speak uh, um, some here because when I had the Kundalini awakening uh, experience passing through my crown chakra, I was uh, really put into this state of facing my own uh, child within and um, it was very, very difficult uh, at times for me. You had a double process, the Kundalini inner child. Thing. Yes. Uh, Andre was here to support me and to help me, and I'm very grateful for that. Um, <laughs> and um, if you want us to, we can speak about uh, uh, that uh, separately. Um, it's not easy to heal your child within. The child is there, no matter what we do. It's always there. You know, it's not just self-love, uh, it's much more complex than this. Plus, self-love is uh, uh, disregarded as what it truly means. Uh, it, uh, it means uh, a lot more than all this. It's uh, very, very deep. We have been living a lie, all of us, and we think we have a concept of a, an inner child, which is not actually the entire picture. It, because when we suppress the beast, even this... Um, proper perception of the inner child is gone simply because uh, for example in order for us to have a job that is very 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 hard on our head we need to 
um, to get a hard skin in order to be able to withstand this environment. And because of this, the inner child, we think the inner child is something, but it's just so blurred and we think that's, this blurredness is uh, what it is, but it's not. Like, it's much more than this. Mm -hmm. You said they've been uh, bringing my beast out for 43 years. Yep. Uh, not do you. The, oh, this is Angelic. Angelic. I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, sorry, Angelic. Yeah, well, uh, that's the other part. It will continue. It will always continue. It's up to you to stop the process. You have to make a compromise eventually. And uh, you can tell the truth to yourself. But if the other side is not ready to handle the truth, there's nothing you can do. Absolutely nothing. Um, and it's almost like we have to live in an awareness of a small lie um not to uh pull the beast uh, by the tail. um because uh, the more we pull it the more uh we face oppression uh just like the more we resist something the more it persists yeah there is the resisting is what makes uh, things all upside down. We should uh, be as smooth as possible. It's just that our family loves to put us in anxiety and depression. I mean, they don't put us in depression, but just their actions is like this. They don't want us to be sick, but their actions leads us eventually to be sick. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then they say, we protect you, we give you everything and whatever. But uh, the, the, the fact is that their actions led to uh, side effects and these side effects made us sick and it made us uh, maybe use the beast against them or to lock it up even uh, deeper and things like this so yeah. I have very interesting observations uh, by uh, from working with people and from our close ones and, <clears throat> and ourselves uh, why actually uh, children uh, choose certain families and um, uh, their parents, uh, how um, I w we will really um, make a, a separate uh, That's the, conversation on that. The golden, uh, the golden question, because everyone mm -hmm. wants to know why in the world, mm -hmm. why in the hell we are born in a place where we just hate to like, because <clears throat> uh, I mean it's, and then we start to curse like we this have is to see through, guys. There's a lot, uh, we were also a very um, long time thinking why were we brought back here where we are uh, in the, this house. Um, our plans were totally different, like to go another direction and stuff like this. Yes, we were still given the house that we wanted, the place, whatever we wanted, uh, we were trying to manifest. It really came to us, uh, but in a roundabout way. And eventually we realize that this is really our best place to be. Yeah. In a roundabout way, with some drama on the way, <laughs> uh, a lot of uh, hurt uh, and suffering, but it is really for our own benefit, mm -hmm. eventually we yes. realize. Uh, it needs fixing, but then I think that's just to slow us down and to focus on ourselves, because, you know, the house mm -hmm. is the foundation. Of everything. So she said, uh, Angelic, uh, oh yes, my brother wants me to be very sick. He's full of rage. Uh, yeah, uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's uh, I know this very well. <laughs> and because, uh, you know, we also experience, I'm like, God, really, you are making me go back there to the lion's I made it two weeks less than that. <laughs> I know it's guys. No, it's uh, it's better not to even. I mean, yeah. saying that we need to find a positive part in our families doesn't mean we need to live with them. Exactly. Because there is. <laughs> you can love them from far away. There is something that happens uh, that not many people know. Um, it's for example, as soon as you are under a roof of someone else, you become this person. No matter doesn't matter who they are. It can be a bear. <laughs> can be a lizard, a human, a god, not whatever, mm -hmm. you become this person as well. So both of you are sharing the same thing, okay? Mm -hmm. It's almost like you're on the phone, mm -hmm. both at the same time. So yeah, you went there and you became your brother. That's just what happened. 
Yeah, you know, I mean, love from distance, I think, is better. There are situations and situations. So we have to really uh, uh, use our logic uh, in connection with our heart and in connection with our intelligence. And we have to judge. That's why judgment has been given to people, right? We have our intuition and uh, uh, everything and the connection with the divine, the universe. But uh, we have judgment, uh, we have free will, we have our choices, and uh, this is where uh, we should ap apply all this for our own benefit, so that uh, we can continue uh, growing um, instead instead of um, you know slowing the process uh, down, um, because most of these challenges. They are not sent to hurt us that much or to um, make us uh, devolve, not evolve, because we cannot already devolve. Once we have evolved that, to a yeah. certain stage, that's it. You cannot go backwards. Just like going to school, you are not going to down in grades. You right. continue to uh, But uh, there are certain situations, um, things, people, uh, whatever uh they are being sent to us to delay to delay the process uh to delay our purpose uh our uh, meaning of what we came here for uh, to do um and so on so forth if you um embrace your beast completely of, of course not uh, i mean you need to learn what is going on what are the side effects uh what you what do you activate the most with your bees? For example, it can be a certain like emotion or something. But uh, when you start to finally understand deeply and your partner accepts it and knows what it is and you work together with it, you start to become a totally different person. And I have a suspicion. Um, I don't know if this is going to happen in front of our eyes, like to see another couple like this, because we, we don't know many to inform couples anyways, I mean, personally, but uh, in distance, it appears we know. But, you know, if you guys really embrace the beast completely, I think it is possible that you become so much different person that you are, you become like in heaven on earth, basically. Yeah. Not fake, properly, because, you know, the new age likes to tell you that uh, the, uh, the heaven on earth is basically all in the head, you just have to change the perception and everything is great it's not really like this it, because we are self-hypnotizing ourselves we are just hypnotizing <laughs> we are not ourselves. working on ourselves this way yeah no we are going backwards mm -hmm. angelic how is your foot my foot is better <laughs> it was numb until now yes almost the whole time jeez I hope I get an answer. <laughs> no, well, there's some <laughs> lagging. There is some delay, yes. Probably I know. like 20 seconds or so. Better! Yes, I knew it! <laughs> so, what, what, what did you do with the, the numbing or nothing? Nothing, just it just went, just went away. You know what I think it, is, it means, Angelic? Uh, we cleanse something together here. For the ones who don't know, I don't know if there's people. Uh, who just came now, uh, Petia got a numb foot, her foot became numb, and we realize it's not because how she's sitting, it's because she felt uh, someone else's uh, numb foot. And Apparently. Yes. And so yeah. now that we cleanse something together, I am absolutely sure something amazing is on the way for you. And uh, we'll be looking forward to hear from you to tell us what is going to happen with oh, you. Oh, so from cool. Now. A very nice message. Hello, uh, Petty. Petty, P. hi. <laughs> she has the same name as you. Yes. <laughs> Hope she understands English. Well, some Bulgarians I know very well. Yes, yes. Okay, guys, if you yeah. don't have any questions or anything else to share with us. Um... We were speaking about the beast until now, the beast <laughs> within Twin Flames, which is just a, a big animal that lives there. It's like in a cave. Uh, and it, it's it's like an animal that is in a jail, the jail that we put ourselves. This jail is different from everyone, and you just have to uh, know what this beast is capable of and uh, what it can do to benefit you as well. 
So if you don't work it out, the beast is going to eat you up. If you work out with the beast, you're going to become an exceptional person. No one else is going to be close to your, uh, to your knees <laughs> because you're going to be uh, absolutely amazing. You can do wonders with the beast. It's amazing. <laughs> Much love, Gio. And... Much love. Lots of love to all of you. Uh, Angelic says, I love you guys so much. We love you too. And I have another message for you. I just, it just came to my head here. I think you are going to meet someone. And this meet, in this someone, it will be very soon, is going to help you uh, change your situation. Oh, so beautiful. Yes, I think so. <laughs> nice. I hope well, it really goes. It can way. take uh, some time. Yes, but I think it's almost around the corner. Wow, so I nice. I feel it very, very cool. Very cool, very cool. Okay, <laughs> super. Yeah, it's cool. So yeah, uh, you guys need to fix this beast. And we are going to continue to fix our beast. <laughs> yes, first we're going to feed the beast. We're going to have some... Beast. Ah, food <laughs> is very important for the beast. Yeah. Okay, if you don't feed the... Because who asks for food is the ego. So the ego... Is also part of the beast. Is the mm -hmm. same thing. If you don't feed it, it will eat you up. That's why. And this means uh, not just energetically, but physically as well. Yes, all kinds of energy, like spiritually, mentally, physically. If you don't give something uh, to come out from boredom, your the beast is gonna knock on your door, and mm -hmm. <laughs> you're gonna have some issues. Is there, if everything is within moderation, then things start to turn very, very, very good for us, for all of us. Yeah. This is the key to it, to be in moderation. Yes, and we speak uh, more of this topic. I mean, this is uh, one of the deep topics that we usually have, but uh, we usually do these topics uh, and other topics that we think uh, people are just not ready to hear. We put in the, in the members, um, Telegram members and YouTube members, so that we uh, continue, because it's like this. I you think know. it's gonna stop anyway. So yeah, I think we are overheating. The the camera is overheating, so yes. 